Hi Taurus, so I'm going to be doing something new. This is going to be your sign versus all the other signs. So if you're dealing with a specific sign, the timestamp will be in below for all of the signs. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Keep in mind that these readings are general and they may or may not resonate. Take with us and leave the rest. Also, please be sure to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so we're going to start off Aries. If you're dealing with Aries at... 30 seconds so aries done with uh taurus I, this is definitely aries energy the king of wands with the knight of wands i feel like this person is an attention whore and um they're holding on to you yeah you might get some communication that they can't get over you or whatever but this person might be a player okay so if a taurus is done with the taurus 56 seconds Taurus dealing with the Taurus. King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. So this is definitely a king we're dealing with. Could be a queen, but whoever this is, they think of themselves in higher regard. This person might be stable with money. This person might be very passionate about you. Um, They work a lot. Yeah, look at that's crazy. They work a lot, but they, they have a lot of love for you with this King of Wands too. So that looks good. All right, so Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, I'm going to start your reading for them off at 135. Okay, Taurus with Gemini. I see this being very passionate, and it might actually lead to something stable. Might start off as sex, though, but let me see. Yeah, I feel like um, both of you guys or you will be coming to the realization that you have to offer this more love. You'll see it more than a, a sexual-based connection. Okay. Taurus dealing with the Gemini. 205. Taurus dealing with the Gemini. If you're a Taurus dealing with the Gemini, this person is juggling. Someone is juggling. And you might not be speaking to them because you already know their attention whore. Definitely a Gemini trait. Okay. Two. Thirty-seven. Okay. So if you are dealing with the Leo, this person loves controlling you, but they see that you have a lot of love for them. Yeah, with the Emperor card twice, this person is might be a bit too controlling. And that might make you, like, take a break from this person. Yeah. Emperor twice, that's heavy. Okay, so who's the next one here? Virgo. If you are a Taurus dealing with a Virgo. Taurus dealing with a Virgo. The hangman and... Ugh. So although you might have a connection with this person where you feel like they're a soulmate, you need to make a judgment call because maybe this person blocked you. There is something going on in this situation that they can't seem to see from a better perspective. All right. If we're dealing with the Libra, we're going to start that reading off at 335. Libra. The Hierophant. And oh, this person is choosing to be in a relationship with you. Ten of Wands two of cups and it's scaring the fuck out of them they feel like it is a burden because they care about you so much okay Taurus, what you got on now so now for my scorpio scorpio if you are dealing with the scorpio three i'm gonna start that off at 405 if you're dealing with a scorpio maybe this person is pregnant if this person is not pregnant then this then you see a situation growing with this person definitely with the ace of wands the king of coins you're ready to offer them something style solid stable and committed or maybe they are i don't know uh next we're gonna do sagittarius sagittarius we're gonna start that off at 335 so if you're dealing with the sagittarius Ooh, they see you as being very sexy and they have a passionate, um, they're passionate about you. But they might think that you're juggling or you might think that they're juggling and that's, that's keeping you uh, a little stuck in what you want to do or where you want to go with this person. Okay. 
Capricorn. So if you're a Taurus dealing with the Capricorn, we're going to start that off at 510. This is a soulmate, but they broke your heart. Yes, but they still want to be with you. They're trying to figure out what they want to do. Okay. Uh, if you are a Taurus dealing with a Aquarius, we're going to start that off at 533. Okay, Aquarius. If you guys are in the house and y'all not talking, that don't make sense. But I feel like... Yeah, yeah, that's why because y'all keep beefing with each other. So somebody's waiting to break the ice with somebody. Somebody needs to talk because all y'all doing is being petty, and that's pettier. Y'all live in a house together. Y'all gotta see each other. All right, Pisces. If you're dealing with the Pisces, we're gonna start that reading off at five fifty-nine. Okay, Pisces. So, Pisces is watching the fuck out of you. They want to manifest something new with you, but they feel like it's a missed opportunity. And with the uh, Queen of Pentacles, this person might have their own business or job, but they're more focused on that right now anyway. All right. Thank you, Pis uh, Pisces. Thank you, Tauruses.